Hey, hello friends. This is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to the daily stock market analysis. We'll try to understand what happened in the market in the technical charts and uh, look forward uh, you know, with the, and come out with a plan for the upcoming trading day that's tomorrow. It's going to be very short and brief. So we had a flat close today. Markets are basically consolidating. Let's see the charts and then you know summarize it in a slide. Before that, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe your friend, send for colleagues and you know pass it on to more so it reaches out. Okay. Thank you. So this is a wrap up. We'll come back to this after having a quick look at the market. So this is the daily charts of the Nifty that you see here. It's an inside bar. The candle is formed well within the previous two days candle. So it's consolidating inside bar, so it's absolute consolidating and it's closed flat, absolute flat, right? Less than 0.2% lost. Look at Bank Nifty. It's even more troublesome. It's indecisive dodgy, absolute indecisiveness is there. Right? Very flat close, that's what has happened. Now from the previous day's analysis, we know that Nifty is much more bullish than the Bank Nifty. Just taken all the swing highs, the price patterns are now reached the lower high and it has broken out of the trend line, it has conquered all the major moving average, exponential moving averages, 20, 50, 100, 200, all of those and it is consolidating and then keeping that support level, alright. So it's, it's, it's uh, ready for a up move. But look at Bank Nifty, the Friday it did a nose dive losing the 50 and 100 exponential moving averages and in fact it it, it uh, lost the 20 exponential moving average also yesterday and it could not reclaim that back today and it has formed a very indecisiveness in the there's a big fight between the bulls and the bears that market is indecisive anything will happen here and it's relatively you know the big gap that is formed here is relatively much weaker than the bank nifty right Although all the major sectors are moved up, it's Bank Nifty that's trending down the market, and you no, know, it's it, it's consolidating Nifty that you see there just because the banks are indecisive. That's exactly what it is. Now, for the Nifty, if you look at the levels for the next day, there is a gap here which is untouched, right? A few inches away to worst previous to previous day. So that's at 18. 878 something so that's the first resistance to be taken out if that's cleared 8900 obviously it's rounding number then then 20,000 rounding number then you have a gap that's coming at 20,100 and then will pull time high levels so as resistance upside downside you would have supports at six 9600 9500 9400 300 likewise right but the major support would be at the moving average conference of the 50 and the deal 9500 could actually good support if that is breached then you go back to the 9300 where you have a gap that's coming here, precisely 19275, 19175 is near to 9200 also as a support. That's pretty really weird, but you no, know, absolutely um, consolidation of a big breakout from that resistance zone is what you see with Nifty and the and Bank Nifty. That's where the trouble and uh, the immediate resistance to clear the gap that has formed. That's at 44,064. So 44,000 is going to be a very good uh, resistance upside. That's clear. Then you go to the 44,200, 44,400, and then 44,800. And the previous swing lows would be created only about the 45k. So until 45k is, it doesn't make much time for bank to start to move. You no, know, it can dive into 800, 900 points a day. So it's it doesn't take much time. So but 45,000k until then, until that is clearly we have you will have this consolidation that goes on and if you have a breach of the 200 exponential moving average is coming at 43 400 350 zone three zones then we have trouble back again you could take a market back to the 42 800 and then back to 42k what this could happen where it could retest remember that brand nifty technically has not taken out the previous swing highs price action lower high lower low remains as it is so that is the trouble, the bank it is the trouble there. So we had a flat consolidation that happened in the Nifty and you see Doji consolidation flat close in the bank also. 
We know magnitude is strong, but density is strong, dragging behind, losing all the major supports and only 200 expansion moving average is left. FS has gone back to selling after showing some green buying in the cash market on Friday. Um, on, on not on Friday on a week to base basis. I think Friday also it was yeah it was on 16 number or on Friday Thursday was when it was buying but on all week to week basis previous week was slightly green by the bank uh, by the FIS but FIS are going back to selling once again small quantity about 650 crores of selling in the cash. So since we have seen we've already seen that resistance support levels in between the bank team. So the crucial thing is to maintain the 44k in bank tree and um, take out the 45 you know, for a breakout and clearing the 9900 will be the first task and maybe the 9500 will be the second task for the nifty so moment was slightly slipped if you see so you can see that moment has slipped slightly in nifty which was in the bull zone slightly so you know moment of slip is there that is even deeper in the bank tree but trend is remains uh, positive in the case of nifty but trend is negative in the bank tree so moment and trend having trouble in the bank tree mix has spiked up slightly a little more so 12.15 mix is slowly and steadily going up since in the low volt regime still maintaining that but in trial it is uh, it used to be very volatile in the previous weeks so using the of green lower has pulled off gold also has pulled up but the crude and the rupee used NR that's backing up. No, that's a trouble. Crude and rupee moving up is trouble. You see, this is a green so far. It has made three weeks of pick up or breaking move following the inflation cool off. So, it's a reason our market also rallied. But, bank nifty for some reason because of some RBI guidelines or something, which may impact the earnings, is called cost this pause. Right. So, Hope it's a temporary pause and takes the support mm -hmm. there and the change in variety bounce for the magnitude also happens from this point is what the bulls are hoping for because all other major sectors are in bulls on today it had a very flash loss one of them but otherwise the metal expense G except that all the other sectors are in the bulls on so the short term <coughs> so you know bank nifty has to come back either of that will happen either bank will pull down all the sectors and then macro crash or retest or crash, retest the previous single lows once again, or this could be a temporary pause. So basically, market is still consolidating, indecisive, waiting for the bank T to decide. That's what we are. So, in case the decision is to move down, then that's opportunity for the investors to buy in quality stocks with cheaper prices in the SIP mode, of course. But traders need to be cautious. The VIX is spiking up, there are, the charts are not that great. Charts are weak, especially with respect to the magnitude. You have to be cautious. Direction is not completely confirmed without the magnitude also coming in line. So, you have to be extremely cautious. Portion size properly. If the VIX is above the spike towards 1520, cautious, cut short a portion size and be cautious. Always have heads versions, right? That's all we can do. So, that's a, that's a wrap up. So, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And happy trading, happy learning, happy investing. Bye bye.